अप्रकाशो अप्रवृत्तिश्च प्रमादो मोह ये वच तमस ये जायंते विवृद्धे कुरु नंदन I must say to all, this is Bhagavad Gita 14 by 13. Yesterday we saw the previous shloka where Sri Krishna beautifully describes about the impact of Rajaguna. When Rajaguna increases in our body and mind, what happens? Sri Krishna beautifully explained in the previous shloka. In this shloka, he is explaining about the Tamaguna Vritti. When Tamaguna increases in our body, the impact will be Aprakashaha Aprabhritihi Pramadaha Mohaha Etani Jayante. Understand these four impacts of increase of Tamaguna. Aprakashaha. We will. Prakash means we can say light, the light of knowledge. Our intellect, our mind, our sense organs will have the light of the knowledge reflecting through our Jivatma. When we have a lot of Tamaguna, then what happens is we will lose the knowledge we will lose the inspiration to earn any knowledge aprakashaha we will be agyani and apravriti hi we will also become lazy we will not have any prerna or inspiration to do any deeds we will become lazy and then pramadaha pramadaha is very very important in fact if you remember i think uh, one year back or six months back i made a video on obstacles in yoga sadhana one of the obstacle is pramad and pramad is due to the result of tamaguna pramada means carelessness that means we will have time to do all the activities all the worldly activities but we will not dedicate time to know who am i we will not dedicate time to worship almighty god this is called as carelessness like whenever we get time we will try to do that activities which is absolutely useless useless to us that is called as carelessness pramadaha and mohaha the increase of tamaguna inside our mind and body and intellect will lead to moha will lead to attachment see the increase of rajaguna will lead to greed the increase of tamaguna will lead to attachment very very important etani eva jayante so when when the tamaguna increases understand these are the four things which will jayanta means we can say it these four four uh, you know problems will happen in our life pramadah aprakashah aprabhritihi then mohah attachment most dangerous problem which we face today is attachment attachment towards materialism attachment towards our close relatives attachment towards you know boyfriend girlfriend husband wife parents elders son daughter etc 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 attachment towards worldly articles attachment towards mobile phone attachment towards car towards property towards towards money in the bank towards everything possible so if you see rajaguna and tamaguna are very very closely related of course rajaguna at least inspires you to do actions towards materialistic needs but increase of tamaguna will do two things one is many people will become alasi and many people will become pramada they will become careless people in terms of spirituality when it comes to spirituality they are totally careless they are not interested in almighty god at all they are not interested in worship of almighty god at all they are not interested to search acharya they are not interested to listen vedas and finally attachment they are totally indulged in attachment and my acharya ji has beautifully explained you know the impact of these gunas my acharya has beautifully explained on atharveda mantra two atharveda mantra he has explained atharveda 8 by 8 by 8 where my acharya has explained I am see almighty god is giving a very beautiful secretive knowledge in this mantra atharveda 8 by 8 by 8 I am mahan lokah mahatah chakrasya jalam asit jal jal means we can say net net like you know where we fisherman has their net to catch the fish similarly there is a jal there is a net created by almighty god chakrasya means sarva shaktiman the almighty god has created a jalam has created this body has a jalam is is created not only our body the entire world is like a net 
and it is mentioned as an adjective mahatah mahatah chakrasya almighty god is param poojaniya almighty god is the one who is adorable who is worshipable but god has created this universe through prakriti so god calls this universe god calls this human body as jal we say maya jal in hindi right so god has created a net because prakriti has this quality of rajaguna tamaguna sataguna so god says that this is a jal and this jal is made of the net is made of triguni maya is made of rajaguna tamaguna sataguna but if somebody understands this triguna from the point of view of vedas and understands that okay i have to overcome this jal i have to overcome this net otherwise i will be inside this trap so i have to listen vedas i have to serve acharya i have to do vedic sadhana i have to do everyday ashtang yoga tapasya i have to do everyday agnihotra whenever possible i will have to go to my acharya to listen vedas thereby i can break this jal thereby i can overcome this triguni maya if somebody does that then he escapes the maya jal otherwise almighty god says if nobody is doing this activity nobody is doing sadhana then almighty god says aham tena indra jalena i am the almighty god by the use of this indra jal indra jal means the jal the net is created by indra almighty god i will secure that everybody amun sarvan tamasa abhi dadami i will tie everyone with this net in the andhakar yoni that means we will lose the precious human body because the purpose of human body is to do sadhana to come out of this net but if we do not do this then almighty god says abhi dadami i will firmly tie to this indra jal so that you will always be indulgent in your sensual pleasures forgetting me and then you will further enter into dark yonis see god is telling a very important knowledge here god says that the prakriti guna you must understand the human body is made of the gunas the world is made of the gunas but if you understand the gunas you can overcome it so you can understand the three guna only in human body because only human body can do manan chintan only human body can understand can interpret can use the intellect to act wisely a dog or cat or lion or tiger or donkey cannot do that so if you are not utilizing the human body to overcome the three guna then i will firmly tie you up to this three guna and i will put you into darkness darkness here means i will give you that birth in the next yoni where you can never understand the triguni maya this is a very very important ved mantra where god is clearly telling on a direct sense god is says aham dadami abhi dadami i will do it if you practice yoga sadhana if you do every day agnihotra worship me then you have a genuine chance to break this jal and once you break this jal you will realize me you will realize who you are you will come out of all the worldly attachment you will come out of the moha you will come out of the greed lobha then you will ever be in your eternal bliss but unfortunately 99.999% of all of us we are inside this triguni maya even by knowing even by listening vedas most of the people are inside the trap of triguni maya because they are having pramada they are having the carelessness towards almighty god they do not want to worship the almighty god as told by almighty god they have found out their own new ways for example islam religion speaks about a different way of worship five times a day worship to some other almighty god who is not mentioned in the vedas similarly christian religion has their own almighty god and some other way of worship similarly the modern hinduism has got some other almighty god who is not mentioned in the vedas if we forget our almighty god who has created this entire world and god is giving the knowledge this world is a maya jal to you please come out of this you can come out of this by doing vedic sadhana so if we do not worship the almighty god we do not obey the almighty god's knowledge vedas then we will be inside the trap of this triguni maya so this is the secret of this is this shloka it is very very you know extremely important ved mantra 
and further you know in the next mantra my acharya has written for the tamoguni vritti there is another mantra tandrihi cha mohaha cha means alasya one who is lazy one who is in attachment due to tamaguna ugra sedihi these people get trapped into serious ugra means serious sedihi means we can say mahamari or we can say infectious diseases because of the effect of tamaguna in this world we will see more and more rise of infectious diseases across the universe across the world many people like you know we saw recently last two years back we saw the covid then you know in previous maybe in 1970s there were some other bimari in going forward there will be many other ugra sedi many other infectious diseases because we are all in tamaguna that person who will worship almighty god will come out of tamaguna he will not be impacted by ugra sedi but generally the world is marching towards this so here almighty god says that if you are in attachment if you are in alasya if you are in pramad then you will get trap into the ugra sedhi this kind of infectious diseases and vairriddihi cha anapavachana artihi you will be vairriddihi means you will do not i mean you will enter into poverty also you will not have proper financial stability in your life you will have poverty in your life you will have hunger you will suffer with hunger and also anapavachana you will not be able to even explain your difficulties to others that means you will be in deep mental depression you will be in mental sorrow you will be in anxiety you will be in terrible issues all these are due to your own karma which is moha which is which is alasya due to the effect of tamaguna abhi dadami almighty god says in this mantra again abhi dadami i will give you all these things because you you are not utilizing your human body see very carefully we must understand this human body is only aim or only objective of human body is to worship almighty god to overcome the triguni maya so once we understand this is the impact of tamaguna that if somebody is careless in worshiping almighty god we are having alasya we are lazy people we are having so much of attachment then we must understand we are actually impacted by tamaguna and if somebody is having extreme greed extreme jealousy extreme krodha etc we must understand it is due to rajaguna so we must try very very hard to overcome this alasya to overcome the greed to overcome the attachment so that we can control the rajaguna and tamaguna and raise over towards sataguna and sataguna also is dangerous because sataguna of course it is a indication of going towards light but most of us because of you know extreme ahankar ego we will get into the trap of you know i only know everything i only know who is almighty god then we will get into the trap of again sataguna also so we must rise over the three gunas then we can understand the indra jal then we can understand the maya jal what is maya i hope you understood thank you so much namaste om